Ladies and gentlemen, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Breakdown and Prediction, Volume 28, will begin shortly in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, folks, for tuning in. This is the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Give a thumbs up. Please help the show grow. Take me up to 300 subscribers. You know, we're at, I've been sitting at 266 for a while. You know, show's been a hit a slow grind. I got an outside job, you know, the hours change. But I still love to talk that boxing. So new viewers, become new subscribers. Give that thumbs up. Take me up to 300. And then we'll talk more from that. Now this, we are talking and breaking down a North American Boxing Federation Walterweight Championship fight between Igis Kavalaskis taking on David Anavesian. David got his uh, name to fame with the upset win for that WBA regular belt over Sugar Shane Mosley. Now, this fight is going to be good. You got the Mean Machine Igis and you got David is this a David and Goliath story? No, it's not. <laughs> but both these guys, I think, are really good boxers. Fundamentally sound overall. They could throw every punch A to Z. They could use the ring pretty well. Uh, I give uh, legs wise, you know, ring generalship. I wanted to lean towards David on that one. I think uh, he doesn't get the power. That Igis gets his punches from his legs, but he uses his legs. He is good um, gap control. He um, he could use the ring, you know, as uh, get some points, take a walk about. Uh, if he needs to be gather himself for a few seconds, he's good at using the ring. Or Igis right now, he's always been in control. He really hasn't been put in the situation where he has to. Rely on legs to gather him some seconds, get some air back, um, retreat. So he hasn't been in that situation yet. And I see more from uh, David's legs. Whereas defensively, they both slip punches well. They both uh, counter well. I would just say the easier one to hit. And I said, and I like... I like uh, David's outside movement, but I just think when it comes to slipping punches and firing, um, firing back, I lean towards the Mean Machine Aegis. I think he's a little better at rolling and slipping punches when it comes to the inside. So we're going check box. We're going one for one so far. Aegis has a better to me a defense where he's not hit as easily in the mid range game as David is. David, I'm giving better legs due to his outside ring control. And when it comes to the offensive category, like I said, both these guys, I feel, could throw every punch in the book. What separates them is the power of the Mean Machine. The Mean Machine, Aegis, comes in at 18-0 with 15 knockouts, an 83 knockout ratio, while David's 23-2, one draw, 42 uh, knockout ratio. So you got the Lithuanian fighting out of Oxnard, California, my good old home state. And we got the, the Russian um, from the UK, um, David. 18 and 0, 15 knockouts for Igis, 22, 23 and 2. The rounds of experience. Even though Igis is a heavy amateur experienced guy, he only has 60 60 professional bouts. While David has a 178, both 29. Uh, the reach, Igis comes in with a 71 to a 68 and a half advantage. And he also comes in with a 5'9 five to 5'7 five, and a half advantage in height. So those two factors, the height and the reach advantage, is allowing me to be a little more comfortable leaning towards Igis in this pick. I think his power. With the reach advantage, I think it's going to uh, allow him to win this fight. Because the way 
David David could fight. He could move around the ring. He could fight. But the fight he did against Lamont Peterson, stand toe to toe with him at moments. One, I think Lamont Peterson just kind of really didn't respect him, and he's a smaller guy. I don't think David will be able to stand toe to toe as many rounds as he did with Lamont as he did as he can, will be able to with Igis, the Mean Machine. I think Mean Machine punches too hard. Uh, he, he's going to be behind that jab. And I'm leaning with, I just don't know if it's going to be a knockout or not, but I'm leaning with Igis on this one. We're going with Igis Kavalasis. Kavala. Sahar, last name, folks. So stick with the Aegis. Aegis. Aegis going uh, over David. And Aegis will retain his North American Boxing Federation's Walterweight title. So this is a, a nice little page to see where Aegis goes from because he's ranked number 23 in the world against number 13 against David. So again, Aegis over David. Retain his North American Boxing Federation. New subscribers, please, please, please become new subscribers if you are new viewers. Take it up to 300 for me. Help my show grow. Give it a thumbs up for all the uh, veteran subscribers. Hit that thumbs up so you can, can't subscribe again. If you could, I know you would. I appreciate the support. Thumbs up. Mr. A is out.